So this is my tool belt setup. It's, it's Occidental bags on a buckaroo tool belt and the buckaroo tool belt showed up about a year ago. Just showed up. I didn't pay for it, so factor that in however you want. But I have been using it now. I started out on size shop, made a video of that, but it's been hot and heavy on this house. The foundation to the frame, the frame's up now, so I've got a little time on it and I'm ready to tell you what I think. All right, so let me talk about how this thing's built. It's way different than what I've used all the years I've been doing this in a couple of, a couple of ways. The first thing, when I opened it up and I got it out, I was a little bit, I don't know, I thought, do I wanna wear something as highly engineered as that? I mean, I've had my, my bags hanging on a leather belt for a long time. And so that was my confirmation bias that that was the way you should do it and that this was probably eyewash, right? But let me talk about this eye wash a little bit. The leather is stout. You know, I don't know enough about leather to tell you, but I think this is probably what they would call full grain. This webbing, I, mean, I don't know what to say about webbing, except it's strong. It's got that high visibility orange in there, which was off-putting to me. I mean, that bugged me. Now I realize it didn't need to bug me. It was just my reaction. But the difference between this and the belts I've always used is that it's two belts. It's a belt that's holding your bags onto the belt that's holding the whole rig. I was skeptical. Now I like it. The downside to that is this extra belt builds in a little distance so I can't slip between studs quite so easy. There's more to hang up. And when you're hung up, the bag won't slide completely out of the way. But it turns out that's a huge plus. Having your bags pinned to the overall system is a huge plus. I mean, if somebody goes to your truck to bring your bags out, they don't all slip off the end and end up in a heap with the nails dumped out on the ground. You can pick this up and it's always gonna be where it's set. I like that, especially with my hammer loop. It's always gonna be around here and it's not gonna slide clear over and get tangled up with, with my right hand bag like it did for so long. That's handy. The inside of it's lined with felt. They said it's made from Australian Merino sheep, I think. I don't know much about that, I knew at first, I thought, wow, that's kind of uh, overdone. And by the third day I wore it, I thought, why did I not have this 30 years ago? I don't know if this is correlated or causal, but my back has not been hurting near as badly for the last, what, eight months that I've been, not that long, six months that I've been working here. Some part of that is that this belt is wide enough that it actually functions as kind of a back brace. And if you're young and your back doesn't hurt yet, it will, it will hurt badly. So don't set aside the importance of taking care of your back a little bit. I like that. So this belt is set up with suspenders. I assume they have their own rig that'll go on here and suspenders are great. I worked with them for a long time. I mean, it's nice to have some part of the weight hanging off your shoulders and just, instead of just hanging off your hips. It's a little more rigging than I feel like I'm comfortable with now and I'm not doing commercial work so my bags don't weigh you know, as much as they weigh when you're working on a big crew. But if you're a suspension rig kind of a guy, I think you would never tear these loose. As I look at this, I think that the back on the belt itself, I, I don't know what that, that doesn't look like leather right there. I don't know what it is. But everything else that's actually in service is leather. I like that. But here, here is what I think is the indisputable truth about these, is that this felt liner on the inside of that belt functions exactly like a saddle blanket on the back of a horse. It puts a slightly grippy, soft, conforming, absorbent layer between you and the belt. That's just a win. I don't have hot spots anymore where the rivets on my pants are being pushed into my hips. I don't, my lower back doesn't hurt as much. Now, is it because of this? I don't know. But I can tell you this feels good in the morning when you strap it on bring it up a little tighter than I was with the leather belt because the leather belt would, would gall a little bit. The fact that I don't use suspenders and I just use a belt, I think is a big part of the reason that this is such an improvement for me because the wider belt distributes it 
more widely across my hips, and the felt is just a winner. As I think about it, I realize that the felt is both kind of, it's a pad, and it holds it up where it belongs. A, a slick leather belt works itself down all the time, and you're kind of hitching it up, or you're tightening it up, and so it's just kind of cutting you off. But that felt kind of grabs against the denim of your pants, and it holds it up where it goes, and it keeps it from galding. So I think, I know that suspenders are a big step towards comfort, but that belt is a big step towards comfort that for me obviates the need to ever think about going back to suspenders. I don't place a real high value on the details of my tools. I don't really place much value at all on how my tools look. For me, the value of a tool is in how it works. And uh, yeah, this was a little flashy, it was a little big, it was a little busy, but boy, it works. I mean, it works. I feel better at the end of the day. The webbing keeps a leather belt from, I mean, a leather belt will stretch over time, right? It gets wet and it stretches and it gets longer and you're tightening it up. This webbing, this nylon webbing attached to this felt is not gonna stretch. You've got, you've got a foot of, of leather over here. You can get a little stretch here between the holes, but all in all, I don't see myself ever going back to wearing this rig the way I used to wear it. And I see myself as if this ever does wear out, if I live that long and work that much more, which I rather doubt, if I ever was gonna get another tool belt to hang my bags on, it would definitely be a buckaroo tool belt or something exactly like it, if something like that even does exist. So as far as sizing, I wear a 33 inch waist pant and this is a 36 inch sized belt and it hits right in the range. I mean, when I started this, you know, building this this spring, I was in the middle and now I'm just inside shrinking up just a little bit. I think I'm shrinking rather than the belt stretching. I'm sure these guys make pouches. I can't, I don't know a thing about it. I haven't seen them. I'm not using them. I'm using my old pouches and they work great, but Something tells me if they make a pouch, it's probably a good pouch. If you're interested in something like this, there's gotta be a way to get a hold of them. They're in Australia. I don't know if they're on Amazon, but spend a little time, look them up, talk it over. I appreciate them sending this to me. I'm never going back to the old way. And every day when I take these things off and it hits the ground and doesn't fly apart, and my hips don't hurt, I thank Buckaroo Tool Belt for thinking of me and sending me this belt. Thanks for watching, Essential Craftsman and keep up that good work.